Hi, I watched A Mario Paradox, and here's my review. Onoe, a reporter for a gossip magazine, gets transferred to the team of the guy he sees as his rival, Kaburagi. Alright, so contrary to how I do things, usually I'm not going to have a non-spoiled part for this drama, it's going to be full spoil from the beginning. Alright, so overall this is a drama I enjoy, it's a nice little watch, it's short, so it's easy to watch. Uh, however, it's not much more than that for me. I enjoyed it okay, but yeah, it's just okay for me. And I'm going to explain a bit more why. First little thing, and I just mentioned it, is how short it is. I don't mind short dramas, I enjoyed them because they are very easy to watch and if you're not in the mood for a big drama, then short dramas are very nice for that. However, short dramas don't work for every format of story, in my opinion. Not all plots work for a short drama. In this case, for example, I feel like Kaburagi should have been in love with Onoe from the start, or yeah, before we start the story. I thought it was the case at the very beginning of the drama. I thought Kaburagi was actually already in love with Onoe, and I liked that because that means we only have to concentrate on one character falling in love, and so for such a short drama, it's nice to just concentrate on one person falling in love instead of two. However, it's not the case, Kaburagi isn't in love with Onoe from the very start, and so in 8 episodes of 25 minutes only, we have to develop two characters falling in love for one another, and I think it's not very well done. I don't know if it's because it's not paced well enough, or if it's because it's a BL, because after all, a BL, um, how can I say this, is not the standard, I mean, heterosexual love is if I can say, the standard. So, people, heterosexual people falling for one another don't really question themselves, they don't question a lot of things that uh, uh, gay people ask themselves uh, or can question themselves about. And so, for a BL, I think this part is not really well done. It goes, it's way too fast and there's not enough time to really develop the feelings between the two characters. Second thing I don't really necessarily enjoy, and I think it's because I've seen way too many of it, is how Onoe as a character is very, very stereotypical. I read a lot and a lot, a few hundreds, <laughs> really. I read a few hundreds, uh, yaoi or shonenai before uh, mangas. So this type of character, I know it very well, and so this story as a whole really puts Onoe in a very, very typical, stereotypical light, and I don't really enjoy it that much. He is the type of character who is very naive and, and has a lot of convictions, and that's good for him to have good con lots of convictions and things like that. But being too naive, okay. No, really, I've seen it way too many times. If... So, he is naive, but so by being this naive, he is always wrong. It's the type of character who always does things wrong, who always have the wrong opinion on things. And so, for example, in this case is with the actor who turns out to be a bad guy. Uh, I was very disappointed because I kind of liked him as well. But it was pretty obvious that he was going to turn out to be a bad guy because our main character, Onoe, is so certain that he is not, that he is a good person, that you just know that, no, this guy is going to turn out to be someone, someone bad. And so, yeah, this is the whole thing I didn't really like, because Kaburagi the whole time is like, no, I'm sure he's a bad guy. And you want to side with Onoe, you, want kind, you kind of want Onoe to be right. Like, I don't really know how to explain it, but throughout the whole drama, it's like Onoe is never right, and he's always wrong, he always does things the wrong way, he always does mistakes. And so you want him to be right at least once, <laughs> but it doesn't happen. So yeah, he's very, very stereotypical of your naive character who is always wrong. And 
his love interest is always right. So yeah, I don't really like this type of thing at all. Then, and it actually ties to what I was just saying, is I don't really understand Kaburagi's reaction to Onoe when he goes undercover by himself. And I can actually use it as another example of what I was just saying before, because apart from being very naive, of course, our second character needs to be very pure and very sincere and stuff like that. So they can't lie, they can't hide things, because it's a bit different than lying, they can't hide things, they can't do things that goes against the other person's morals. Because in this case, Onoe goes undercover uh, by himself and is pretty proud of doing it, not like he really wants to do it, but is pretty proud of doing it and doing it to help the person he likes, and he does a very good job. Wow! Our main character does something by himself, and he does it well. Wow. Especially such a character. And so I was very happy for him. I was very happy that he managed to do it by himself and everything. But then comes Kaburagi's reaction. Like, the guy is pissed off. The guy is really not happy about it. And he doesn't... Yeah, he treats Onoe very badly at this moment for doing so. And so why does he do it? Because it goes against what he thinks Onoe is. Very pure, very naive. And yeah, Onoe kind of goes against his principle to do that. But he was very happy in the end. He did a very good job. So why would you react this way? I mean, I can understand not wanting the other person to be stained, if I can say, by something. But it's also his job. Uh, you're not going to prevent him from doing his job just because you want him to remain all pure and things like that. And so, again, it's the type of things I don't like. It's, it goes back to what I was saying. Our main character is very, very stereotypical, is very too naive, is in incapable of doing things by himself. And... You always need the help of someone else, which is the love interest, all right? So you always need the other person to help him do things right. But then when he finally manages to do something right by himself, the other person is not happy about it. And so the person who finally managed to do something by themselves end up regretting doing it and succeeding because the other person isn't happy about it. Like... Saying it right now, saying it out loud, it feels very manipulative. It's not... No. I don't know. I just don't really like that. It's a stereotypical character that I've seen way too many times. I understand if people haven't seen it that much before and are not bothered by it. And so for you, it was not a bother at all. But for me, I've seen it way too many times. After seeing all that, this doesn't mean that I didn't like this drama at all. I did enjoy it okay, like I said. It's a nice little watch if you don't really know what to watch else. Um, but yeah, still quite disappointed for a Japanese drama. Something I did very much like, however, is that we get kisses in this drama. Honestly, we get even more than that. And for a Japanese drama, it's pretty daring. Not that I really care, to be honest for more than kisses, but for my romances, I need a kiss, at least one, so I was very glad about that. But yeah, that's about it. I did like a few little things in the drama. For example, I know that I did like the confession when they made up uh, at the end. It was a very, very touching moment and very sweet to watch, so I know I did like that a lot. However, overall, Yeah, it's just okay for me, average, nothing stunning or incredible. And that's it for Amerio Paradox. Unfortunately for me, it's not very much of a win. It's okay, it's watchable, but that's about it, unfortunately. Uh, I hope if you watched it that you enjoyed it more than I did, because it's always better to have a good time and it's not because I don't like it that it has to be the same for everyone. Maybe you adored it and so it's going to be great for you. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, even though it's not the case for me, and so don't hesitate to tell me your thoughts about it, whether you like it or you didn't. Uh, I'm all here to know about it. Bye bye!